everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And today I'm bringing you a Goodwill haul. I went to Houston for the last couple days and hit a Goodwill. Let me move this down a little bit. Went to Goodwill and picked up some jewelry, some jewelry bags slash jewelry jars and vintage purses or a vintage purse and wanted to come on and share with you guys what I picked up. And of course my cat is over here eyeballing a shelf. Why? She does this as soon as I hit go. Mimi, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I think I've convinced her. All right. <laughs> Hi in the chat. Hi, Cindy, Pamela, Karen, Bug Boy, and Jew. Thanks for coming. And yes, I was just live a second ago sharing the jewelry I got when I was at the Houston or the International Quilt Festival because I got some really cool stuff. Um, but I wanted to do this separately because, because. So there. So there, that's my new, I guess, catchphrase. So there, in your face. Um, hey, Bet and Tatiana. Hi, Kimmy and Cheryl and Dale and Patricia. Thanks for coming. Hello, Faye. All right, so let's jump into this. I went to three Goodwills while we were there this morning and um, got jewelry because the Goodwills here don't really do jewelry, which is a bummer, right? And that's, yeah, Bug Boy saying they don't do jewelry jars here in Alabama. Yeah, and in Houston, they do still sell jewelry at the Goodwills that I tend to frequent, and then here, not so much. So let me start. Where am I going to start? Uh, let me start with the purses, and then we'll go from there. So this first purse is adorable. So there is this first, kind of like a straw purse, but it's more of a, you can hear, plasticky, you know, feel. Um, but it is a vintage purse. And the reason that I know is this is handmade in Hong Kong, right there. Um, what does it say? It says something else. Handmade in British Hong Kong. So you know that's for sure before they did the switchover because um, they did the switchover. What was that? 90 something? When did they switch back over? Because the British had Hong Kong for like 100 years because of war and all that stuff. Okay, so this was $6. And it's in really, really amazing shape. So I have some other vintage purses that I need to list. <laughs> or I might keep it because honestly, it's that cute. Like, oh, it's kind of a nice little, a nice little purse that maybe I end up keeping. We'll see. We'll see. Um, your mom carried every one of those in the summer. Oh, nice. Okay, then I also got this bag and I looked it up and I, I see I see one on Poshmark. Um, that somebody's selling for, I think, $45. The brand is MMS, and it's a like a black backpack. I don't think it's actually leather. I think it's like faux leather, but it's really nice quality, and this is like practically new. Um, and I got it for $7.99. There's the inside, you can see. And I honestly, I think I'm going to keep this because we, whenever we go to like, festivals and things like that. I don't want to carry um, like a shoulder purse and a backpack type purse is a lot easier for me to throw all the stuff in. So I'm probably just going to keep that for, for going around, going around town. And that's what, how I say I want to go around town. Anyway, <laughs> I like to rhyme today apparently. Um, scooching, I'm scooching y'all in. Okay, then I'm going to show you the bags I got. I got three bags. No, no, I got four bags. One of the uh, Goodwills I went to had three bags, and I bought them all. Now, the rule I have is that I have to see something in the bag that I think I can make my money back on. All the bags were thirty bucks, so twenty nine ninety nine, and I think I mean it's kind of iffy, but there's a lot of variety in here, and you know I've sold a couple craft lots for a good amount, and I see some things in there that I think. You know, some, there's some brooches. Like, I've sold a, a, I think this is a Coro. I sold a C from this branch. It looks like a branch, you know. And then I see some other brooches and things in here. Where's the other thing? There was a Santa. Oh, there he is. He's a really cool vintage Santa, and he's a brooch. Isn't he fun? So he's a brooch. So I, I think with some of this stuff, um, and then there's loose. I don't know. Yeah. And, and I don't see them very often here in Morgan, so, or at all. I've got a barrette. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, I think there's something else, like a rhinestone. You see the S? There's, like, a word there. 
Um, so I think this, I don't think I'll have any problem making 30 bucks back off of that. There's a really cool looking bracelet down here too, this black with the gold um, caps on the ends of the segments. If it's all in one piece, it could be pretty cool. And then I saw, oh, here's one that's like, there are hearts. It's like poker. It's like hearts and spades, and I think there's an A there. So I think it's like a, a poker, playing cards. I'm not going to open this one. No, I'm not going to open the, there's one of the bags that I'll go through, but these big, these there's three big ones I got. I'm going to hold off and do those another day. Reach, they're super duper heavy. So this is the other one. There's two, there's this one and one more. So again, same kind of deal. It's just like a mixture of all kinds of stuff. Um, but I I took a chance. There wasn't like just one thing jumping out at me. And I think also after my going to buy my repurposed jewelry, I was just like, oh my gosh, what if I find something amazing? So my eyes are a little skewed in that direction as well. Hi, Jackie. How's it going? Um, so there's this one. There's some fun stuff in there. And I have been sorting out some craft lots. So eventually I'll get that stuff kind of up and running. I see some button covers too. So those can be kind of fun as well. All right. So there's that one. And then plus, and then I don't know if you saw the last bag that I did, the $10 where I found the little, the gold is still sitting here. The gold bracelet in there so it doesn't take much right hello Heather sorry if I'm missing hey to somebody in there and so this is the third one that was $29.99 so there's this one it's got some interesting stuff I mean like this looks cool you know this might be something that you know it's not vintage but it might be something good to start on Poshmark because that's something I want to try to get started in the at least in the new year. I don't know that I'll, I'll really be able to get it, get Poshmark started before then, realistically. But this, I'm sitting here looking at it. I should be showing you. So we've got some shoe clips there, right? And then there's something with some coins on it. That might be a belt. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. So then I got some loose jewelry and I'm reaching down here. Hang on. Um, you love the junk stuff. Now I just have to decide if I'm going to do these like facing you because there's some like loose buttons and stuff like that. Um, and I know the, the video I just did with the beads was not super, like a lot of people didn't watch it, but that's okay. You don't have to watch all my videos. I don't mind. Um, but, um, but it didn't go over so great, but that's okay. But it might be easier for me to do something like this face down um, with <laughs> with the camera facing down because there's a lot of little parts and little beads and little broken stuff. You know what I mean? Yes, exactly. And that, that's another reason, uh, Kaylee, is that sometimes you'll find a one earring in one bag and then the mate will be in a different bag. I've had that happen before. Okay, so then in, at the other Goodwill I went to, I got this bag for $24.99. And it was like a bag of bags. Of jewelry so I was like yeah, okay I'll get it I will open this one today for you guys but let me show you the solo stuff I picked up you love the cameo video oh thanks yeah I'm actually working on our November theme which I haven't revealed yet uh, but it's yeah all will be revealed soon all right so first solo piece that I got that's some nice stuff was this bracelet this was $3.99 and it's got these panels, kind of open work uh, bracelet, like so. There's no maker's mark that I saw. Let me double check it again. And it's got a hook closure, um, like this, like a little flower and hook to close it up. Oh, thanks, Patricia. Um, uh oh. <laughs> so there's that. Then I also picked up these Closin' A Combs like this. Um, they were $3.99 as well. And I'm tempted to keep them because I think they would look really cute in my hair. But I might just sell them as well. And, oh, I, I mean to give um, prices the, of what I think I might sell them for. So this one, I'd probably put around $20 on it, maybe $25. And then same thing with the combs, probably because I have both of them, I'd probably go around $17 or $20 for the combs. 
Then I got these 19, what is it? 19, I forget, I was forgetting, 1928. Yeah, 1928. That's the brand, 1928 earrings. And there are people that really like this, and they're usually pretty good quality costume jewelry. So these 1928 earrings were two bucks. Um, so these ones would probably, ooh. And again, I'm just guesstimating on what I, I have to um, do a little more research. But these ones would probably be around $17.99 or $21 or somewhere in that range, around $20 or so. Dollars. And then I got a couple pairs of earrings that I was... I just liked personally, I liked the mixed metal. So this has got the gold, the copper, the silver colored um, hoops. They are three bucks. And I wanted to check them because they, I don't know, they were really lightweight. They, they don't appear to be magnetic. You still love 1928 jewelry? Yeah. And another reason was when I saw these, hang on, let me take them out. Like the hook part was gold. They were pretty lightweight for what they were. They are not attracting to the magnet, which doesn't mean that they're, you know, for sure anything. But I was like, well, okay, I'll get them. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. And it's, I hate to do that in front of y'all. I don't know why. It makes me feel like rude, like I'm not talking to you. Okay, these ones do have a. These ones are scratch. Have a sometimes you can see when you're looking like there's some scratchy marks. You see these little teeny scratchy lines? There, it has scratchy lines. All right, so let's see if I can figure out what the scratchy lines say. <sighs> I gotta look again. You're interested in the multiple hoop earrings? Okay, well let me let you know if they're gold. Because <laughs> that might change the price. <laughs> I know my magnet is out of control, right? <laughs> I think it says, where did it go? Here it is. Sorry. 925 something 14K. I think they, oh, maybe not. Hang on. Sorry, and I got really quiet and trying to focus. Okay, so it says 925, 14K, and then AU. And AU is the, AU is the periodic table for copper, right? Somebody check that out for me. Um, oh, no. So I'm wondering if, like, one of them is 14K, one of them is silver, and one of them is copper. Um I'm gonna have to look at that. I'm gonna have to test it. But I think that's, um, yeah. I'm gonna double check those. So I'll have to test out the, especially the gold, if that is a 14K hoop. AU is gold. Okay, what's copper then? What am I thinking? What's copper? Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to test those. Sweet. Uh, either way, good quality. Please let me know. TGS, that's that's clearing clutter for clarity, right? All right, it's a new name. It's a, I have, okay, CU, okay, okay, okay. So I'll double check these. Yay, Ginger Witch. I'm gonna put these to the side and I'll check those. And then these ones looked like the same kind of, in the same vein as those, which is also why I got them, $2.99. They looked like they were pretty good quality. They had the gold hooks on top. Um, <laughs> okay, message me, like send me a message so I can find you, or else I will, I will forget. I will. Um, where'd my magnet go? <laughs> my crazy, crazy magnet. Okay, let's see if these ones are, oh wait, these ones have a slight pull. Let's see if you can see. Or do they? Maybe it's just because I bumped them. Let me put them down and see. Yeah, these ones have a slight pull. There, I'm pulling it. There, okay, so. Ah, uh, but they're really cool. And the little balls kind of spin around on there. But I like them anyway. So these would be ones that if they weren't worth very much, 
Um, I would just keep them because I like them. <laughs> so, um, what is copper then? See, you said C U. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna double check those other earrings and I'll let you know. They're nice though. They seemed like really good quality. Okay, then another thing I got. Another thing. I'm sure I'm missing something in the chat. Sorry. Okay. Oh, you found it. <laughs> oh, they found it. Your your phone. Cindy's lost her phone. Um, is a Sagittarius necklace. So it's got all the zodiac around the edges, and then it's got the Sagittarius in the center. Um, and I tend to do okay selling things that are. Um, Zodiac, right? Because people like their sign, right? And this was three dollars. And this one, I'm guessing I'd probably try, you know, again, it'd probably go around the twenty dollar mark if I don't unless I see something that tells me differently out there. Um oh thank you. Good, good. Oh, good, okay. Then so that was all from one, and then another thrift store or goodwill. I got some other stuff. I got a, a Damascene brooch which is looks like this like this flower beautiful damascene brooch and it was th $3.99 and there is a mark on the back uh a M I T S, I think is what it says. Oh no, Amita. Never mind. A M I T A, Amita. <clears throat> um, I've had an Amita Damascene before. That was the, I sold a Damascene bracelet for seventy five bucks. Um, that was this brand, Amita, or or had that mark on it, whether it's a brand or not. <clears throat> so I don't know how the brooches do, but I know I sold a bracelet for that that amount. Um, so, and we just had a, ta a talk the other day about the Japanese Damascene and versus the Toledo, right? Um, yes, yeah, I think so. So, and I think the Japanese, I mean, I'm just going on a limb here because I don't have my research or anything. <clears throat> but I, from what we were talking about, I think the Japanese one tends to sell better than the Toledo for the most part, as far as I know. <clears throat> there's something in the air. It's, it's pushing, there's a front coming through. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know exactly. I'd have to do a little research, but I'm guessing at least 40 plus on this. And I spent $4. That is my guesstimate. Then, y'all, wait until you see this necklace. And I paid up at Goodwill for this necklace. I paid $10, which is more than I normally pay for stuff. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, it's on a nice, like, gold tone chain. This is the hang tag, which I could not make out because my eyes. Can y'all tell what that is? Looks like an H. I can't tell. But wait till you see the pendant. Um, oh, you found something that's nice. Thanks, Jill. So this is the pendant. Um, I ha we have to post a picture of that so I can see. Um, but it's got this really big like abalone star in the center of it. And it's on this like big gold tone disc. Isn't it just so pretty? I don't I don't think it's showing up as pretty on camera as it is in person. It's really, really, really pretty. I don't know why. Maybe the lighting or something. But it's super duper pretty in person. So I was like, yeah, I know it's ten dollars, but I'd probably put that up for fifty or more. You sold oh nice, thanks. No, it's not very heavy. It's got a little weight to it, but it's not super heavy. Isn't it pretty? I just, I loved it. So, yeah, the inlay in there. Isn't that pretty? It's a little bit thick, you know, going this way. I'm going to see if I can. No, I'll leave this sticker for now. But, yeah, I spent 10 bucks. Let me look at that um, hang tag so I can see if I can tell what the maker is. I don't think I can. Oh, it's HH. If you guys know, I don't know that maker off the top of my head. Let me see if I can get it to hold still for you. You guys, if I can get HH. You guys know that one? <clears throat> Watch you say it and I'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, the chain looks, and also not magnetic, I don't think. Let me put it down. 
No, the chain is not magnetic either. Not that I necessarily, again, think it's gold, but I don't see anywhere else to, to see. There's no other mark on it. I don't know. House of Harlow. You think someone said it earlier, House of Harlow? Uh oh, I missed it. Oh, oh, Valerie, okay. Is that, now, do they tend to do fine stuff, or do they, is it all costume? Because the, I mean, it could be just like, gold plated or something like that. Do you guys know? Um, <laughs> I'll have to find out. I'm going to do a little a little research on that. Because yeah, the chain is really nice. It seems like it's really nice quality. House of Harlow. Okay. I, that's a new one for me. I mean, I feel like I've heard it, but I don't really know it. But yeah, let me know if they do like plated stuff or I'm not sure. Anyway, I feel like 10 bucks was a good buy and I I mean I would say at least 50 bucks if not more depending on what I find out when when I research. Um that Starburst pendant costume but sought after. Oh sweet. Okay. Isn't it pretty? Gosh. All right. Okay. Okay. And I think too after going to the booth and seeing all of her stuff yesterday, I was just really um like all the colors and the tactile and um, if you don't know what I'm talking about I did a video talking about the jewelry I bought yesterday and I, I just fell in love I don't know with all the stuff I just wanted her workshop I just want to go like play in her workshop okay so next uh, I don't know how much this ring costs actually now I have to look at my receipt but I'm guessing around three bucks um 14 karat plated one bracelet by them oh sweet okay good um so this is a cute little ring it's not adjustable, and the price tag is not on there. There is a mark on the back, and it says, I'm trying to read it, sorry. Nicole Ritchie does House of Harlow and uses gold-plated items. Okay. Ah, this is Aaliyah Sophia. Okay. So this would be like a good one, I'm guessing, for Poshmark. Aaliyah Sophia. Well, not that ring. That one right there. So there. That's pretty. How can I get it off? Okay, so there's that one. And then I got this one. This one was also $10, $10 but I just thought it was so cool. It says 925 on the little tag, which whatever, I don't know about that. Um, but this is what the ring looks like. It looks like this, like a big cluster. And um, I mean, I think even just the box, like the box is super cool. So here is this ring. It's not missing any stones. It's like a bow or just like a big bow. I don't know, a cluster. And it's not um, adjustable. Maybe it says 925 in there. Maybe that's why it says that. I can't for whatever reason get, get in a good spot where I can see what it says. I don't think that says 925, but I can't. It's in a weird, I don't know, or just me. I'm going to hold it up for you guys. Maybe you can tell me. Can you guys see? You can't see that either, can you? I can't tell what that says in there. This, I mean, it's, it is magnetic, so whatever it says, it's not silver or gold. It just, I don't even know. I don't know, but it's cool, right? <laughs> it's really, it's just like a little cocktail ring or something, right? Yeah. Reminds you of your dinner rings your mother used to wear when she went out. So it was fun, like a fun little vintage clustery cocktail ring. I thought for 10 bucks, that's pretty cool. I'm guessing I'd probably, I, I'm thinking at least 40 bucks, if not more, even though it's not like a, Ster sterling silver or gold or anything like that it's, but I think it's just vintage and cool looks like ah okay then I showed you the bag of stuff well I showed you that I had it and didn't open it for you so let's do that real fast uh, I know my eyes are getting so bad all right so this is the bag that had a, a bunch of bags in it so um it was 25 bucks so let's take a look at what was in there. 
Um, there was one piece, I'm not gonna lie, I peeped. <laughs> I peeped. So I think, you know, just this piece alone, I could probably sell for that amount. It's this really long necklace. Here's the clasp for it. It's got this kind of like pyramid box clasp and this chain. Hello. And then there are these at the base of it, kind of rhinestone, pearl, and just cube. So that I think I could probably sell for, yeah, I, I mean, probably 15, 17, maybe 20 bucks, um, depending on what I see up, up there. I have not come across any from the leak, and I would not sell them if I did. I would keep them. Yep. I have some, my grandmother had some Sabino glass figures, and um, I got one at an auction, like a little bird. And I think I got a couple little birds at a garage sale, too. But I, I, I just love them. I don't have them out because I have two little boys that play Nerf. So I won't have those out till much later. Okay, so there was this bracelet in there, which has got these blue beads. Um, and it must have been from a, maybe a garage sale or somebody had that just donated everything because this bag says $3 on it. But um, it was all in this $25 bag. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um, hang on. You got lucky. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's all bagged up and nice. So, oh, yeah, I would love a ring from the lake. I'd love anything from Lalique, Sabino, that, oh, beautiful. Okay, so in this one, there's this ring in there, and that's got a stretchy back, and a, oh no, it's two earrings. At the first I thought it was a solo. We were thinking the same thing. Oh, it looks like a belt. Yeah, it's awfully small. Maybe it is a belt, though. Maybe it's a belt. Do you think it's a belt? I guess it could be. Possibly. Maybe I'll put that in there, too. Belt slash necklace. Okay. Then um, these ones were in there. These beads. I don't know if it was one necklace or multiple necklaces. Let's find out. These ones are... Oh, it's one necklace. So it's all these blue beads. Like a multi-strand. That's cool. They look like little robin's eggs. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh. Then, oh, I've had something like this before. It's all like, uh, peeling. This would probably just go into a craft lot right there. And then we've got some tangles. Who's coming? Who's, who's going to get untangled first? How about that? Nobody? Nobody's going to volunteer? Uh, fine. You, I'm volunteering you. There. Okay. So next up is this is a White House Black Market necklace, which I'm guessing would be good on Poshmark. I don't know. I'm guessing it would be. Um. So there's that. That's a pretty nice one. There. And. Erg. You buttons go over there. <laughs> then this really cool silver necklace. Hang on, let me see what kind of cord that's on. Okay, so it's got a lobster clasp, these little silver beads like this. And then there are these offset squares on it. The base part has some little pearly beads. Oh no, it's all across. So it's got some, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna bounce on you there. So that's a nice one too. That's, that's a pretty nice necklace there. Okay. I feel like this is going to be one of those that I like hate and then find out later that, oh my gosh, they sell for so much money, but no, I don't think so. So, oh yes, hit the thumbs up friends. Thank you. So this will probably just go into like a jewelry lot, not a, like, if you got a mystery lot, would you be kind of like, eh, that you got this? I might be. So I'll probably put this in there, just like a jewelry lot, not a mystery lot. Same thing with this. It's all tangled in a mess, right? I wouldn't want to get that in a mystery lot. Or would I? I don't know. 
I, you love to untangle jewelry. Oh, some of it drives me nuts. Like this drives me crazy, crazy. I have like a spot where I have some chains that need to be detangled. And I just put them, I just, I start work on them and then I'm like, give up. Like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> okay, so next we've got these black beads and a shell. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's, if you were liked going to cruises, but you don't like all those bright colors, this might be the necklace for you, you know, or I don't know, you're going to a funeral on a cruise and you want to wear black, but it's a cruise. <laughs> I don't know. Um, only 16 thumbs up. Oh yes. Thank you. Go hit the thumbs up. Thank you guys. Okay. Then next, that's my husband. He's going to have to wait a minute. We've got these stretchy bracelets. They're actually kind of nice. They're in good shape. They've got good colors. So this one might, um, I'm looking for a maker's mark. I don't see any kind of maker on there, but there goes one. So these might go into a, like a mystery lot. If somebody ordered a mystery lot for me, that might go in there. Um, <laughs> what are the beads made of? Which one, the black ones? I don't know exactly. They're wood, maybe. I think they might be wood. Or um, clay? I'm not sure. Um, then another one. Here's another with the big shell. I think that's horrible hideous. Is it supposed to look like that? But I guess somebody might like that. Maybe it looks like the moon. I don't know. Hey, it's all GN. How's it going? Yeah, I don't, I don't like this, but it's not for me. So somebody else might love it or wear it this way. How about that? If they wear it that way, it looks a little better in my opinion. So it just looks dirty. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. <laughs> then, then. Let's see. I'm I'm certain that I'm missing stuff in the chat. We've got another. This is kind of cruisy necklaces. We've got another kind of shell necklace with a plumeria flower on it. That might go into a a lot or a mystery bag. It's in nice shape. So, and so this is not so bad for twenty five bucks for all this. Got some. Here in my eye. I like this necklace. I like the green with the multi strand green. Those, uh, that's one of my favorite colors right there. I love that green. But I don't, I don't think I'd wear that though. So, this is one I'd probably try to sell because it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love those green. Thumbs up, done. Thank you. They look different. Yeah, the black natural ones for sure. Oh, good. Okay, 67 friends watching. Go hit that thumbs up. Then we've got another bracelet in here that's... They're plastic. Okay. I don't know. I guess they'd probably go into either a jewelry lot or a mystery lot because they're in really good shape. One day you'll find a jewelry jar. Yes, you will. All right, let's see what's in this one. So we had a bag of a bag of bags. This is this is a lot of stuff. All right, there's it's got a lobster clasp, and it's got lots and lots of different colors and beads. Hello, Whitley wears hi. And then there's this. It looks like a piece of agate, maybe. Let's see. The light's hitting it through this way so I can see even more colors or lines and things through it. There's more. Oh no, I think I did that side already. There's that. And then there's another piece over here. So that's interesting. Hey, late again. Oh well, that's okay. Yeah, it does look homemade. Here's here's the thing too. Like, so here's the clasp for the back of the neck. So this is like basically going to be like at the back of your neck. I don't know. Um, never seen a jewelry jar in your area. Oh man. 
these, I got these in Houston just this morning. So this one and these other ones. Okay, this looks like straight, a bunch of bracelets. Yeah, we got some bracelets in there. These will probably go into a jewelry mystery lot. They're nice. I like the green, like this minty green color. That's pretty. Um, yeah, the stones are nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we had so much fun on that other video. I'm so sad more people haven't watched it. Because I, I went back and was watching part of it. I was laughing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, so here's this bracelet. This is pretty cool. I like that. So it's a hinged bracelet. It's nice. Let's see if I can wear it. Looks like it's not really me, but yeah, like that. Hello. Okay, so the, oh, that's right, my Skywatch. <laughs> yep, they're out there. And then in the bottom of the bag, there is a bag of crafting stuff. Yeah, it's like a mesh, like a hard mesh bracelet. It's pretty cool. Clamper, yeah. So in here, there are some charms. Charm and bead collectibles. It says it's pewter. There's a cowboy riding a bronco. There's a cow skull. There is a cowboy boot. I'm sensing a theme. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm not wearing those earrings today, but I, yeah, I, I just got home, so I, they will be wear. I will wear them. Um, cowboy hat, saddle, um, little armadillo, armadillo, hinged. Yeah, it's hinged. Sorry, let me go back. This one, hinged there. Oh, like that. Okay. Then, hang on, we got another one. We got a cactus with a skull down there. Those might get lotted up together. And then there's like these screw-in hooks. Lots of those. You okay in there, guys? Okay. Oh, there's some more little... Oh, did somebody put it on a necklace? Hang on. Hang on. We got, we got a contender. We've got a chain down here. I don't know if it's silver or not. Let me get my magnet. No. No. Well, maybe. Sometimes the spring is... I don't know. I'll have to look at it closer. Hang on. It looks like there were... I'm holding this step up. You can see there's more of those little charms down in there. So that's cool. That's cool. And that's pretty much all that's in there. There's some little wooden. What are these? Hang on. These. Oh no, they're they're metal. They're like little metal stars. It says all you want. Do any of the other ones say anything? Nope. Nope. The rest don't say anything. Yeah. So little metal stars. They might just go into a craft lot. Um, or I might just make one big, like, western craft lot out of them. Okay, so that's it from that bag. There. Now, I have those three other bags. He's calling again. Ah, well, never mind. I was going to answer it. But I just threw the phone on the floor. Um, so, let me know what you think about these other ones. Um, if you want to see them with the camera facing down or the camera facing up. And I hold them up like this because there's a lot of like little bits and stuff like that. I promise not to whisper and make it an ASMR video <laughs> on this channel. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, but the uh, bead one was not, not well received, but that's okay. I enjoyed it anyway, which is what matters for the most part, I guess. <laughs> Ah, what am I sitting on? Oh, books. Okay, so that's that's the haul video from today. Let me know what your favorite piece was. I'm going to go look this one up, and I'm going to test these earrings that um, have those three different marks on it, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let me go. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jan. Um, you like the face and the voice. Okay, up, up.
Everybody's saying up. Do it up. Okay, cool. You like the format of the new the bead one. Because one time I did one, I did it up, and then I recorded it again facing down. So, so yeah. Okay, let me go call my husband back. I, you like it when I tap <laughs> with the beads? Yeah. You know these ASMR videos? Like, if I was really doing this to make money, that's where the money's at. Have you seen any of these ASMR videos? They make a lot of money. But that's not why. Anyway, anyway there's... You know, I'm here to hang out with y'all. So, okay, go over there, leave a thumbs up, and leave me a comment and let me know if you're watching this later, which way you prefer, up or down. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great evening. Bye, everybody.